I'm sitting here next to the water tank on a toilet, and what's happening is it has, a, you know, the flapper's not working the way that it's intended to work. It's slowly releasing water into the bowl. What's happening is, as it, the water slowly starts to drain from the tank into the bowl, sends a signal to what's called the fluid master and then water's pumped back into the tank. And that's what, that's what causes your water bill. Do you hear that? That's what causes your water bill to, to go up, right? So let's take care of it. We're going to take care of it. I'm going to show you how to do it. Now I want to show you what happens, okay? I'm going to bring you into the tank here so you can see the components that I'm talking about. This is the fluid master over here. That's what I was saying. It sends the signal here, just turned on. This is the fluid master, and it sends a signal when the tank starts to get low or is completely emptied, all right? And it sends a signal that it's time to fill the tank with water. Now, if you come over here, I don't know if you can get a picture of it. I'm going to wait for the tank to slowly lose water, and then you'll see what I'm saying. See this right here? You may be able to see where it says water line or water fill. I'm going to wait because it's slowly draining. And so what that sound was is it was replacing the water that's leaked out of the tank. Now I'm going to turn the camera around so you can get a better picture of the flapper. See, this is, and it's the white flapper at the bottom of the tank. That's what we're going to install a new one. Okay, so to do that, to get started, what we need to do is we need to shut off the water at the water supply line just beneath the tank. Let me show you where that is. This is the water tank. It's the water supply line. We're going down, right? And we're going to shut off the water. Once we have the water shut off, the next thing we want to do is we want to empty the water from the, the tank. So we're going to flush the toilet. Okay. So most of the water is out of the tank. And what that's going to do is it's going to allow me to work in the tank so I'm not working underwater to replace the flapper. Okay, so the first thing that I want to do is I want to take the chain off of the, uh, I want to take this chain off because it's attached to the handle that flushes the water. So what we'll do is we'll remove the chain. Uh, I've removed the chain. And now what I want to do is I want to stick my hand down here. And now I've got one side off. And now I'm going to remove the other side. Okay, so I'm going to remove the other side. It's a little tight. There we go. There we go. So you have like just a little slot there that fits over. And you just uh, unhook it and it comes right out. I'm going to go up to my local hardware store and I'm going to match this up. Make certain that I'm getting the right flapper. They make it universal, but sometimes those universals don't fit. Okay, so I've got the new part here. It's a three inch universal. And so let's put it in, okay? Now with this particular product, it has a setting. And what I have is I have the Jacuzzi Perfecta, and they say it's supposed to be set at a 6. Setting, 6. Let me show you where that's located. Now there are a series of numbers here right across. And right now it's set at 4, so we're going to turn this dial here to number 6. So I've got it set on 6 as it indicated on the package. Now I'm going to install it. Now keep in mind, not all flappers are going to have that setting adjustment. Now what I want to show you is I want to show you the sides. What makes it a universal is they have a larger opening and then a smaller one. We're going to um, slide it on, make certain that it seats in the appropriate opening. So let's get it in place. So I've, I've got the flapper in place here. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to slide it right on. Okay, so I've got the flapper on, it's in place. Now it's time to reattach this pull chain, okay, that controls the flapper to the arm, the handle arm. So that's what I'm going to do right now. I'm going to just make certain that it's the right length. See, it's not. So we're going to make adjustments to the chain. So here's the thing you want to do. You want to make certain that you give it enough chain that so that when you depress the handle, it lifts up on the 
Well, I've turned the water back on, so we're going to let the tank fill up, just to make certain that the flapper is doing its job. Now it should cut off once it reaches, yeah, cut off once it reached the appropriate water level. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to sit and just watch for a second and just make certain that it doesn't uh, cycle back on. Okay folks, that's it. I'm satisfied with it. It's done its job and I gotta tell you it's a quick easy fix. Really, once you have the part in hand, it doesn't take you but a matter of a few minutes to do that job and you'll save on your water bill, I guarantee that. This is Leah saying, you can do this. See you next time.